Greetings, everybody. This is Chef B and Chef Zhu. We are here in the southwest part of town of Atlanta, coming to you live and direct. That's right. And we are stirring it up with me and Chef to do a really simple, awesome veggie dish. And it's not going to take very long. We're making, what are we making today? Tell them, Chef. Uh, we have a <laughs> coconut flour flatbread. So, we'll so I'll show you what this is. He actually made these before I plate these. And we're also going to make some vegan, and we're going to talk a little bit more about it. And then I'm also going to make a little cashew mayo to go on top, along with uh, a simple avocado salad, avocado and tomato salad. So we're going to get started. So I'm actually going to just bring the camera over to Chef Zhu here. You can go on over. Turn this around. Here we go. We're in the kitchen. We're in the lab. So tell us a little bit about the mushrooms that you selected. So these are organic king trumpet mushrooms. Okay, nice. And we actually have the bag because we started these. We put yes. these inside of the oven just so that we have them going. So you can get this at any of your farmer's markets if you want. Mm -hmm. And you can also, where else can we get them? I usually get mine from the farmer's market. But um, as far as organic, you do have some um, growers in the city. So mm -hmm. I know one local grower of mushroom is called uh, Soak Your Logs. Oh, okay. So wow. you can get some local mushrooms from Soak Your Logs. Nice. And if I'm not mistaken, Taj Anwar started growing as well. I think she had some oyster mushrooms that she was growing. Nice. So I would definitely say try to go local first. Mm -hmm. But if not, then you can still get them. And they're organic right from the farmer's market. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so what did we do with the mushrooms? So Chef Zoo actually created, he's working on this awesome, amazing rub for the veggie bacon that we're gonna make. So let me show you what's happening inside here. We have this little bowl that we sliced the mushrooms, right? Right. And then what did we add to them? We added a, uh, the rub. Well, first we added the toasted uh, sesame oil. Toasted sesame oil, yep. And the rub has a little espresso, cumin, garlic, onion, um, a little pepper, a little sea salt. Um, that's basically it. Real simple, Real right? Real simple. Real simple. And then you just slice them, yep. slice them, and then what we're gonna do is, and they're almost, they're almost ready. We have about two minutes to show you this. We have like two more minutes. Mm -hmm. And when you actually put them in the oven, because they need to roast, right? Let me turn this around so you can see. But this is what it looks like in the oven. Look at that. That's our veggie bacon. Isn't that gorgeous? So just a couple more minutes. Is there anything else you want to do with those? I think we're basically good to go. We can maybe even throw this on broil just for about two minutes. Just okay. to give it just a little... Okay, so that last minute, right? Yeah, yeah, just about that last minute. Just so we could get it nice and crispy. Okay, so that's going back in. That's going back in. We're gonna set this on broil. So I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna hit broil just for that last minute. All right? So those are getting ready. We have the cakes. And let's talk a little bit about these cakes. So these cakes are awesome. They're gluten free. So let's talk a little bit about the cake. Cakes are gluten mm -hmm. and what they consist of is um, tapioca. Awesome. Uh, a little coconut oil. So just, you know, regular coconut, coconut oil. oil. Yes. Uh, coconut milk. Mm-hmm. Uh, we put a little chive in there. A nice. Little turmeric, a little fennel. Yes. And I want to show you the tapioca flour. So, so real simple, y'all. You don't have to do. You don't have to do wheat if you don't. If you are gluten intolerant. This is a wonderful alternative. So we got tapioca starch. And That's going to thicken it up for us, right? And then you have the um, coconut flour. Beautiful. Okay. Um, and that is going to feel almost like a, um, like a Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. And then you just mold it up in minutes at 400. So these could actually go back in the oven for two or three minutes, okay. possibly, or we could just eat them like this. Okay, got um, you. So if you, you might want the crispy consistency? Yeah, and just to give it just a little warmth. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Okay, we but, can I do mean, that. But I mean, they're good at yeah. room temperature, you know, okay. either way. So. so I'm actually going to see. Boop, boop, boop. It's done. It's done. So we're going back to the oven. And we're going to pull this out. There you go. Look at that bacon. 
Beautiful. You wanna grab that? Yeah, that looks real good. Awesome. Getting yeah, hungry, y'all. I'm getting hungry. We got the bacon coming, so we're gonna let that cool for a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Super nice, super nice. And so we have the bread. If you don't, you still, you wanna have some uh, like this, like this sort of, this is like an alternative to bread. You can also do lettuce. You can add this uh, bacon to a, like a lettuce wrap. Mm -hmm. And then what we're gonna now make, I'm gonna make two things. We're gonna do like a little avocado salad. Actually, let me turn this off. We're gonna do an avocado salad with tomatoes, and then I'm gonna do a cashew mayo, all right? So, Zoo's gonna take over. He's gonna hold the camera while I do this. Okay. <laughs> hold on. There you go. Peace, right. everybody. So, tell them a little bit. Tell the family about what you do for a living. You can, you know, tell them what you do. Well, I'm a While I get myself together. Okay. Who is Chef Zoo? Chef Zoo is a sustainable plant based chef and certified holistic nutritionist here in Atlanta. And, um, you know, I love my people. I love the community. Um, love what Chef B's doing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as we know, you know, let thy food be thy medicine and thy medicine be thy food. So, Absolutely. That's you know, true. that's really what we're doing out here is just trying to remind people of that fact mm -hmm. and, um, you know, showing them creative ways to, to put it in the place so that they can see mm -hmm. what we're doing. All right, so we're going to turn it here. Hold on. All right, and then you can just point it to this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make the cashew mayo. So this is my lovely Vitamix. I do everything in the Vitamix. So these are some organic uh, cashews. This is about a cup, and they were soaked. And the reason why we soak the cashews is so that they can kind of get a little tender. When they're dry, they're not as tender and they're not as easy to work with, particularly if you're making cream sauces, things of that nature. So this is gonna go in, all right? And then I want this to be kind of garlicky. So I have three cloves of fresh garlic. I also have some red peppers. These are some little organic red peppers and orange peppers and they're sweet and they're yummy. So I'm gonna add that as well. And then I'm going to also add, this is um, lemon juice. So I'm going to do like, what's equivalent to like maybe two or three tablespoons of, of lemon juice mm -hmm. in here. And if I get some seeds, I'm basically catching all my seeds. We're going to give you the recipe to this just so that you have the cashew mayo. This is an awesome alternative if you like mayonnaise but that's plant-based, this is raw, you don't need to get eggs in your mayo. This is just good stuff for you, okay? All right, so I'm doing about one whole, whole lemon, which is about two to two and a half tablespoons of um, lemon juice. I'm gonna add a little bit, just a little splash, a little splash of um, the sesame oil. And then I'm actually gonna come over here so he's gonna follow me. I'm just gonna do a little bit of water. And I'm gonna just kind of drizzle this in just in case we need it. This is, this is filtered water. So just in case we need it, we're gonna have this, all right? And then I'm gonna also use a little bit of this. I love the rag. Do you use this, mm -hmm. Chef? Yes. What do you like about this? What do you like about the rag? Um, it reminds me of a, a good salt alternative, um, similar to almost like a soy sauce. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it gives me that, because to me, salt brightens, right? Yes. That's what people would use it for to brighten it, you know. So that's what I feel like that would do. It would help brighten whatever flavors you had set already. All right, and I'm actually now gonna just and buzz not, away. And I'm talking about health benefits, but just. Yeah, 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 yeah. so flavor, just for flavor, flavor right? Yeah. All right, so see, this is getting kind of chunky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drizzle that water in. And I'm gonna turn this up some.
this is awesome because the red pepper gives it that brightness as well as the lemon juice. So we're gonna basically just leave that there and then we're gonna take some out when it's time to actually plate. Now the last thing I'm gonna make, and let me come over on the side. The last thing we're gonna make is just a real simple, quick avocado salad. Do you like avocados? I love avocados. I'll tell you what, I'm from Guyana, right? And we're not used to these little avocados here. Mm -hmm. We're used to those big, mm -hmm. Awesome, they call them Mexican um, avocados, but we call them Caribbean avocados. That's right. They're sweeter, they're juicier. But actually, this particular recipe I got from one of my really good friends back in college. She's Haitian, and she always talked about how she uh, they made avocado salad for dinner every night. Take two avocados, cut them in half, and then I'm just going to get all the meat out into a bowl, like so. And actually, you know what? Yeah, I think we, we could do this. And for those of you who don't know how to get the, the, the core out, the pit out easily, it's really simple. You just kind of cut them in half. And then once you cut them in half, you just do that. You pair it. And then this part, you just hit it real hard. And then you just turn. So that's what I normally do. And so we're going to take this. I have another yet. Have my spoon. Awesome. And then here is my last one. Awesome. And then I'm going to just take some tomatoes. I'm going to just take a few and I'm going to cut them in halves. You can't have an avocado salad without tomatoes. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of. Um, some like spices like marjoram, things like that, and then we're done. It's real simple. That simple. You can add a splash of oil, but you know, the avocado already is an oil, mm -hmm. so you don't need to, okay? And that's it. And then this is gonna go on the side of our food. All right, so we have our avocado and our tomato. Here's my marjoram. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this, a little bit. We're gonna add some um, garlic powder. Okay, and I get a lot of my spices from the DeKalb Farmer's Market. Where do you go get yours? Um, Beef for how? They're about the same, right? That's basically, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're about the same. And then I like Himalayan salt. <laughs> That's right. My little pink salt. Mm -hmm. I find that it's not as salty as salt mm -hmm. are. And then you also get those nice trace minerals. That's right. So it's pretty cool. Avocado salad, pretty nice. I'm gonna add a little splash of sesame oil, just a little bit. You could add onions to this if you wanted to, some red onions, up to you. But this is good to go. And now it's time for us to plate that very final dish. So how do we plate that one? You want me to grab the, the camera so you can plate? Sure. Or you want me to do it? Either one. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we have we have our, okay, so we're gonna just put some on here. The lettuce, we can get some lettuce if we need some lettuce. But we're gonna say the bacon love and tomato. The bacon love, right. real mm -hmm. simple. This is an